Hey everyone, hope you're okay. Welcome to this week's update. I know uh, we're trying to do these on a Wednesday, but because of the uh, announcement yesterday from the government, we thought it was best to hang on um, for 24 hours just to make sure that we had the latest uh, information and guidance to share with you. And we'll come on to that uh, in a couple of minutes time. First of all, though, I'd like to share a psalm with you for your encouragement and um, hope you find it helpful and a blessing to you. It's Psalm 27. So I'm just going to read uh, the psalm and then just like leave it to sink in really. And as before, if you can have a read of it, let it encourage you. Um, read it a few times if you can. And if you're daring, maybe read it out loud. It might be easier if you're on your own. Um, but it could be a little bit weird if you're sitting in a cafe and you start reading it out. But nonetheless, read it anyway a couple of times and uh, let it be a blessing to you. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though wars rise up against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above all my enemies all around me. And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger. O you who have been my help, cast me not off. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I'm sure you'll agree, incredible words uh, and a real reminder of um, the strength and the salvation that there is in God. So I trust that's a blessing to you and maybe we could take that as our prayer. So moving on to some information uh, for the coming days. As you know, um, on Sunday, we've got outdoor worship planned for four o'clock. There's quite a lot of people signed up, so that's really encouraging. Just to reassure you um, that the announcement made yesterday uh, by the government doesn't apply to um, places of worship. Um, so we're still OK to go ahead um, as we planned. So what we'd ask you to do is, if it's possible and you can, that you walk uh, to, to the centre that would be really helpful. If you do come in your car, uh, if you need to come in your car, then of course that's fine. Um, we'll have similar a similar setup where you'll be directed to a space to park. Please have a look at the website where the instructions are about the way it's going to work. Um, and obviously the precautions that if you're feeling unwell, uh, then please look after yourself and stay at home. Uh, it's our intention to start, if we can, at four and to be wrapped up and finished uh, by five o'clock. Um, we'll it'll be the same format. There'll be some songs to listen to, um, a couple of readings, and then a short uh, devotional uh, message um, as well. So please, if you want to bring your own chair, a couple of people asked about that, then that's totally fine. If you want to bring a flask of coffee, some snacks uh, maybe, or whatever you need to make yourself comfortable, a blanket, uh, then of course, all of that is totally fine. We want you to be as comfortable and happy as you can uh, while you're here. It is weather permitting, so if it is pouring down, then it won't be happening, and we will get in touch with you all uh, to let you know. We'll leave it till as close to the time as we can to make a decision on that, um, and we'll try and communicate that in the, in the as soon as we possibly can. 
Um, that is not in replacement of our normal online service, which God willing will be happening uh, as usual, and we'll start proper our series in Ephesians. So can I encourage you to read the whole book of Ephesians, uh, maybe before then. I've been listening to it every morning um, on an app on my phone, um, listening through the whole book. It, it takes about 10 minutes, 12 minutes to listen to it through. Uh, and then this Sunday morning, we'll be thinking specifically about chapter 1 and verses 1 to 14. Just a couple of a couple of issues to mention uh, for prayer, if that's okay. As you know, members, um, we are uh, looking to appoint a care worker, so please pray for that, for God's will uh, to be done. And if you could please pray, folks, for Lynn Jones. I'm sure many of you will know um, that her son, Peter, uh, passed away uh, a few days ago. So please pray for Lynn and the family. Um, it's been such a traumatic time. Um, over the past few months so please uphold them in prayer um, and if you want to send a card or anything like that then please let us know and we'll give you the details uh, so you can do that so yeah i think that's all from me uh, for now so hope you have a good rest of the day you enjoy the rest of the week um, hopefully we'll see a good number of you on sunday afternoon and we'll see some of you for uh, our Zoom coffee after the service uh, on Sunday morning. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care.